Hello, this is Vasvi from Atom Tuition. Today, let us learn few basic concepts about degree and radian measures. So, first of all, when you draw an angle, you will have an initial side, right? Say, for instance, the line is OA, and you are going to draw a positive angle on this line. Okay, in that case, you just move anti-clockwise, and your terminal side, that is the final uh, side, final uh, position would be OB. Okay, it moves anti-clockwise. And if you are drawing a negative angle, then if this is your initial side, OA is your initial side, the terminal side will move clockwise and this point O is your vertex. So this is how an angle is drawn. Let us see some of the angles given here. So for the 360 degree, it is one full rotation, okay? So your initial side is OA and the terminal side will make a full complete rotation and the terminal side falls on the initial side, okay? So your initial side and the terminal side are one and the same. That is why I have marked A and B in the same point. Now, if it is 180 degree, how do you do 180 degree? Here, the initial side is OA and when you make 180, since it is positive, you are going this way and the 180 degree will make, see this straight line is 90 and one more 90 will make it 180 degree and you will have the terminal side on the left side of this OA, okay? So that would be a straight line and the angle on one side of the line is 180 degree. The third one is 270 degrees. So here from OA, since it is positive, you move anti-clockwise and it is, this straight line is 90 and here when you make this straight line, it becomes 180 and one more 90 will give you 270 degrees. So it is this angle, okay? 270 degrees is this angle. Next is 420 degrees. One look at it, you can understand. It, it is going to make more than a full rotation, right? Because one full rotation is 360 degree. You have seen it here. But this is 420. So you have to go 60 more, okay? So you just move the same way anti-clockwise fully. So here it would be 360. And again from there you have to move 60 more degrees. Because 360 plus 60 will give you 420. And your OA is again on the first quadrant which shows 420 degrees. Understood? OB I mean. And the next one is negative. Negative 30 degree. So since it's a negative degree you have to go opposite side. Right? So it is from this OA downwards you take 30 degrees. And that would be negative 30 degree. Okay? Minus 30 degrees. And again it is minus 420 degrees. So this way you make a full rotation. Clockwise you make a full rotation and 60 more you take downwards and that will give you 420 degrees. Understood? So this is how the angles are represented in degree measures. Here I have explained the relationship between the degree measures and the radians. So uh, let me explain. Uh, I told you one full rotation will make 360 degrees, right? So 360 degrees is one rotation. So what is uh, one degree? One degree would be one over 360th rotation. You can also say that one degree is 60 minutes and each one minute is 60 seconds, okay? So these are the measures. Now, about the radians. The radian measure is angle subtended at the center of an arc of length 1 unit. So here look at this picture. You have an arc here AB which is 1 unit in length. Okay. And in a unit circle. This circle is unit circle because the radius here is 1 unit. Okay. It is a 1 unit radius circle. So you call it unit circle. When you have a circle which has got one uh, unit as radius and when you have an arc on it, 
which is one unit then the angle formed here the so formed angle over here is called radian okay and it is normally shown as theta and this is radian one radian okay so what is one radian one radian is angle subtended at the center by an arc of length one unit in a circle of radius one unit okay so the same sentence i have put in a little simplified way that's all so here we have seen the degree measures right now here one rotation or one revolution is like you know you, you just look at this the circumference of this circle your circumference is the formula is 2 pi r right 2 pi r here your r is one unit so that would be 2 pi and r is 1 so you get here for one revolution you get 2 pi radian okay so that is what is given here one revolution is 2 pi radian so you know one revolution is 360 degree right so you can say 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degrees or pi radian is 180 dividing both sides by 2 you get pi radian is 180 if you can remember this one it will help you in converting the degree measures to radian and the radian to degree measures now using the approximate value of pi as 22 over 7 so here we are going to use pi as 22 over 7 we have 1 radian is equal to 180 over pi where pi is 22 over 7 when you do the calculation it gives you the value 57 degree and 16 minutes approximately okay 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians where pi is again 22 over 7 so that will give you an approximate value of 0 0.01746 radians okay i'll tell you why i say this 1 radian is equal to 180 over pi right because here uh, you can see 2 pi radian equals 360 right so what is 1 radian 1 radian would be you are dividing both side by 2 pi so that's 360 over 2 pi you can cancel the 2 with this you get 180 over pi here okay so that is how you got 1 radian as 180 over pi 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 right so we know that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radian so what is 1 degree 1 degree would be 2 pi divided by you are dividing both sides by 360 right so that will give you pi over 180 got it so that much radians here this is 180 pi over pi degrees and here this is pi over 180 radians uh, before going to the problem let me also remind you when you have equal arcs of a circle subtended to the equal angle at center your theta is equal to l over r okay or you can also say L is equal to R theta. Just remember this because we apply this also in the problems. And let us solve these three problems. Find the radian measures corresponding to this degree, right? So here it is a negative degree given. And this is 30 inches. First let us convert this into complete degrees, okay? So what happens? This I can write it as negative 47 degrees and this 30 inch I can inches I can make it as 30 over 60 degrees we know 1 degree is 60 minutes so I just converted this so this will be half when you simplify you get 1 over 2 so now my degree measure is negative 47 and a half degree okay so make it a improper fraction so that would be negative 47 times 2 is 94. 94 plus 1 is 95 over 2 degrees. Okay. 
Now you are going to convert this into radians. I can say minus 95 over 2 degrees is equal to minus 95 over 2 and to convert when you convert it to radians what happens you have to multiply by pi over 180 I'll tell you why the degree measures you are going to convert to radian right so the one degree is equal to this many radians so I'm just doing so for this many degrees what is the radian so I just multiply this so this let me keep the pi as it is so this is going to be uh, 5 goes here 19 times right I'm just simplifying this nothing else this is going to be 36 so my answer is negative 19 pi over 72 radians is your answer so I have converted this into radians so just a simple thing first you make the question a complete degree form then you multiply it with pi over 180 and simplify it to get the radius. Okay. Now, the second problem is converting the radian to degree. So, they have given you minus 4 radian. So, what I need to do is, I have to convert this to degree measures. So, it is just the opposite, right? So, I would say minus 4 radians is equal to minus 4 times this time it is 180 over pi. Okay. So that would be minus 4 times 180 over this 22 pi is 22 over 7. 22 here and the 7 goes up here. Okay. So now when you simplify this, the 4 goes here 2 times. Here it goes 11 times. So I am just converting it to multiply and it gives you 2520 over 11 degrees this is in degree form now we have converted it to degree form but let us make it into perfect uh, way of writing so what you do you just divide this and make it an improper fraction so you get negative 229 1 over 11 degrees okay so this again i let me multiply this by 60 to make it into minute and this will give you 60 divided i have done 60 divided by 11 now okay so that would be this is already in degree measures so this 229 i write it as degree and the 60 over 11 when i divide it goes 55 five times right so that's five minute and still you are left with uh, 5 5 over 11 ok now again you can write it in seconds also multiply by 60 so that would give you negative 220 all this you can write as it is 5 minute and this would be 300 over 11 right so that would be approximately like 27 seconds ok so this would be your answer. Don't leave the degree measures as fraction. Try to put it in degree, minute and second form. Okay. I have taken a word problem. That's very interesting. So I thought, okay, let us discuss it here. If in two circles, arcs of same length. So the length is same. You have two circles. The length of the arc is same. Subtends an angle. But the angle is different. Okay. This is... Uh, 60 degrees and the other one is 75 degrees at the center center find the ratio of their radii so I take the first radius as R1 the second one should be R2 then okay and the theta 1 is they have given it in degree measures let me make it into radians so that would be pi over 3 radians and this side it would be theta 2 I take it as theta 2 because it's different measure right so that is 75 degrees so 
converting it to radians, what do you do? It is 75 times pi over 180, right? When you convert, this is going to be 5 pi over 12 radians. Okay, so you have got this. Now, your L is same, the length is same. So, let me write this in ratio. So, this I would write it as L R1. See, this is L is equal to L, right? So, this L would be R1 theta 1 equals this side it is R2 theta 2, right? Okay, let us multiply the R1. We don't know what is R1. I just keep it as it is. Theta 1 is pi over 3 equals this side it is R2 times and the radians is 5 pi over 12. Now, let me cut the pi. The pi is cancelled. 3 goes here. When I multiply by 4, I get like this. So, for this implies, what do you get now? You get R1 is equal to R2 5 over this is 4, okay, sorry. 4. You are multiplying throughout by 3, right? So, you get 4 here. So, this is 5 over 4. Now, bring the R2 down. So, you get R1 over R2 is equal to 5 over 4. So, the ratio is R1 is to R2 is equal to 5 is to 4 is your answer. So I hope you have understood what is degree measures and the radian measures and how to convert them and how you use it in the problems, word problems too, right? See you in the next video. Till then, bye.